Hey guys, uh, Brun here. Uh, so this is my first 60 and 0 flawless nuclear uh, in Black Ops 2. I mean Black Ops 3, and it's uh, it's kind of crazy because this is actually my second nuclear in Black Ops 3. Uh, I got the game about a month ago, and uh, it's really fun. Uh, I quit Overwatch like what, three months ago, was it now? I don't know, two, three months ago. Uh, I, pl I I went to Iron Sight. And that game is really fun. Uh, it's kind of kind of like Call of Duty, like it's like Black Ops 2, but for PC. And like the um, the uh, the recoil isn't random, so it's actually really fun to play. But the uh, the theme of the game isn't like I don't really like the score streak system, the drones, and uh, I don't like it how serious it is exactly. So I I, I quit that. Um, well, I didn't quit it, but I stopped playing it as much uh, after like maybe two weeks of playing that, and then I went to Battlefield 4 because uh, I remember playing it a lot on console, and I fucking loved that game. But I, I played that for another week. Uh, and it was it was pretty fun, but at the time I was watching a lot of Neat Gibson, so uh, uh, I, I stumbled upon him a few weeks after quitting Overwatch, and I was watching a lot of his videos. And I was like, hey, uh, I thought that maybe Black Ops was dead. Call of Duty, I always thought Call of Duty was like completely dead on PC, and I mean, it kind of is, but I mean, Black Ops games, like Black Ops Steel 2 still gets like a thousand players average at any time, and like 2,000 players at peak times, and Black Ops 3 still gets like 2,000, 3,000 players average with 4,000 players at peak times, so uh, um, I, didn't, I, I, I looked that up on Steam, the uh, Steam charts, and so uh, I was like, oh shit, the game's actually still alive. And I, I wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for Nate Gibson, <laughs> to be honest. But um, so I bought the game because it looked like I remember playing it on uh, console a lot. I went for Dark Matter, and I, I wasn't too great. I think I had a 2.0 KD, but I mean I wasn't bad. It, I just kind of played it for fun, though. I never really try harded too much. But uh, I, I've been playing it now for the past month, and I've got to say I really enjoy the game. Uh, I, I mean I. I I hate a lot of the, the newbie shit, like the specialist weapons kind of ruin it, like the, the purifier is super easy to use, it's really annoying how it like kills you, you, you do one, it, you, 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 like one flame hits you, and even though you may not die immediately, you're, you're gonna be dead, so it's kind of unfun to use, unfun to play against, or it's unfun to use if you get killed, uh, if the, the time to kill is kind of long, but it's unfun to play against because it'll kill you anyway, and there's other stuff like the ripper, and the war machine, they're all kind of newbie, and easy to use so the specialist weapons are kind of annoying but the specialist abilities I think are amazing and I love the jetpacks I, I, I'm really sad that everyone hates on the jetpacks because they're actually really fun to use and then the the weapon design is amazing I, I don't think I've ever seen a game that has better weapon design in my opinion the weapons and all the guns in this game are really cool and interesting to look at and I'm really happy that Black Ops 4 they're doing the same like general weapon design just a little, a little less, like futuristic, a little more rugged. So I'm really happy to going back to that. Um, but um, this game is really fun, and uh, I'm definitely gonna be grinding it out a lot. So um, this is my second nuclear, which is kind of crazy, because it's my second nuclear and it's 60 and 0. But uh, I only end up getting 30 of the gun kills. My, I, I'm using a kind of it's kind of unconventional score streak setup, but it's really fun to use because all your score streaks are getting kills. So it, like it's a little, it's a little harder to get on the roll, but once you get on the roll, I mean, there's only 200 uh, score difference between each of the streaks, the between the Cerberus, the Wraith, and the Raps. So once you get on that, start getting on that roll, it's uh, you, you start annihilating people. I mean, you call in your Serb and that gets a kill or two, and people are trying to focus that down. And then you call in your Wraith, and then people are trying to shoot that down. You call in your Raps, so I mean, you're just completely annihilating them it's really crazy it's actually really fun to use but uh, I mean this it's really effective it's really bad for getting nuclears because I mean my kills was my, my score streaks were taking so many kills like I I, I, I think they, they took no they literally took half of the kills because um, the final kill which was a gun kill was the nuclear kill and um, I ended up 60 and 0 which means that I end up getting 30 gun kills and my streaks got 30 kills, which is just crazy. They got half of the kills in this game. Um, I, I did play kind of like a pussy, just because I really wanted to go flawless, uh, even if I didn't get the nuke. I actually I had no idea that um, 
I was cl that close to a nuclear until after the game, but I really wanted the game to be flawless because I knew that even if I could get a nuclear, it would be a pretty crazy game. To, like even I'd be going like 40 and 0, 50 and 0, whatever. So I was like, okay, even if I don't get the nuclear, I really want to go flawless. So I was kind of playing like a pussy, and the, the game did start off kind of slow because I think it was 3v3 at the start, and then it picked up and it was like 66, and then it, it went back to like 4v4 after I got my second wraps. Um, so, I mean, yeah, some people rage quit, uh, and my teammates seem to rage quit too, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it's, it was pretty fun. Uh, I, I, I still think it's just crazy that literally my second nuclear in the game ends up being 60 and no. I, I've actually, I, I think, I've gotten 8 brutals so far, so I, I, I choked so many games. I, I think, like, uh, a little bit after this, I was 28 and 0 while going for Dark Matter with the Pharaoh. And uh, I probably would have got the nuclear, but then some guy, uh, I, I, I played a little, since I wanted to play a little more passively since all I needed was two kills, but I'm using an SMG and it was on Redwood. And uh, like the SMGs are not that great at range, especially the Pharaoh. Since even though the Pharaoh's burst, its recoil is super random and crazy. And so a lot of times you're shooting someone and the recoil just like makes it like you hit one shot of the burst and then you hit another shot of the burst and it's just impossible to kill anyone at range with that gun uh so i really didn't want to put myself in a long distance situation that i knew i'd lose so i was starting to play a little i play i, I wanted i I, uh, I was playing more aggressively and this guy with gravity spikes like it was by the uh the river like there's a little lake under the bridge and it was uh, i was going under that or I, I, he came from under that, and I was I jumped over him, and he used gravity spikes, and I, I thought I would survive since I was in the air, but it seemed I um, he was on an incline, uh, that kind of made it so that he like like he, he was on like a little ledge or something I guess or an incline I don't know, but it, it, it counted to kill even though I was in the air, because he landed on a like high ground, it counted towards killing me. And it was so annoying. I, I got so mad. It was I was two kills away from my third nuclear, and I got killed. Uh, so that that kind of sucked. But uh, and it was the Pharaoh too. I absolutely, the Pharaoh is a good gun, but I just hate using it. So it, if I was, if I ever do decide to go for a nuclear with every gun in this game, having that gun already out of the way would be fucking amazing. But I, I'd have to go for it again since. Since I fucked it up, but I mean, I'm not even running like good score streaks for that. I don't even have a hater or anything like that. I'm having three lethal streaks that are really good. All they do is end up kicking my kills if I'm going for a nuclear. So I'm not, I'm not really going for nuclears right now. This kind of happened off, like without really me intending to go for it. I, I'm probably not gonna go for nuclears until I get dark matter and reach master prestige, just so I don't have to worry about all my classes and all my stuff resetting. But um. Yeah, um, if you guys like this video real quick, uh, tell me, because it doesn't seem that no one really, no one on PC really does BO3 videos anymore. I mean, in general, no one really does BO3 videos, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's a three-year-old game, but it's still the most recent Treyarch game, and uh, in my opinion, it's it's probably the best Call of Duty out there. I mean, I've played every Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2, and I, I played uh, COD 4 after, like, Modern Warfare 2 released, and... I have BO1 is amazing, it's one of my favorites for sure. Um, but Black Ops 3, in terms of the zombies experience and the multiplayer, it's amazing. I mean, except for the specialist weapons and like a lot of the DLC and the, the newbie stuff like the pizza disc launcher, uh, the XM53. But I mean, they've had newbie shit in every game, so I mean, that's kind of a dumb point since literally every Call of Duty game has newbie shit. But, like. I, I mean, this game is, it's amazing. The multiplayer is so fun. The jetpack system is really great. Like, it's pretty fast-paced, but you can still, like, like you can play it fast-paced if you want to, but you can also play it a lot more slow and calculated. And I love that. Like, it's not like Advanced Warfare, where if you're not playing fast-paced, you're doing it wrong. In this game, with the way the jetpack system and wall run system works, you can use the jetpack system and wall run system to play aggressively or play defensively, if that's what you want to play, how you want to play. I love it. I, I really wish people. I, I, I really. It, it sucks how everyone hates and bags on it. Oh, and that was that was my final kill right there. I, I didn't even know. Uh, I, I didn't know you got the nuclear at the until the very end. And here you're gonna see uh, the score streak or the the streak. So uh, that was it, guys. Uh, I kind of started talking a little too long there, but uh, that was it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.